Uh oh. No sell, no sell, no sell, no sell. Let's go. All right, today is auction day. So we are going to be focusing on a few things while we're out here checking the cars. I want to look at how many independent dealers are trying to dump their cars. I want to look at the amount of repos, see if there's any more than what we've seen the last few weeks. And I want to see if these dealers are actually selling some cars. Uh, because as we're going through these weeks, as the prices are going down, no sales sh should spike as they have been. Um, but also we're going to see a flip at some point where these no sales are going to start becoming sales. A lot of these dealers are going to be tired of uh, sending these cars to auction week after week after week. And when they start dumping them, that's when wholesale prices can start coming down. And that's when retail prices can start coming down. And uh, you'll, you'll start seeing a change in the market when these uh, franchise dealers start letting go of a lot of uh, these cars that they're holding on to, um, just no selling week after week after week. All right, here's another one from last week that did not sell. It's a 2020 Corolla, and they were, if I remember correctly, they were like $10,000 off. All right, so all of these cars that are surrounding me right now do a full turnaround. These are all independent dealers. Hope I didn't make you dizzy there. Uh, but the reason why it's important for me to check these is because this is really the gauge of the used car market because if these uh, small independent dealers are sending a bunch of their cars to auction, that means that they're not able to retail them. Either they, they pay too much for them and their floor plans are creeping up and they gotta dump them and get rid of them, even if they may be good cars, or uh, if they're, they're bad cars and it's just not worth it for them to fix it because they know that they can't get good money for these cars. Um, so I like to, to check on the levels and how many that they are actually bringing to the slot because really the health of the used car market weighs on the shoulders of these independent dealers because once they start to crack then the prices are going to come down of the used vehicles because they're going to start dumping and that causes other dealers to start lowering their prices because if they're if, if these dealers that are in trouble start to lower their prices significantly on their lots because they know they have to get rid of them it pushes the dealers that might be in good shape dealers like me to actually lower my prices too because now i'm competing with the ones that are doing the fire sales and yet another no sell from last week. This one was way off. I think they were like, uh, they were more than $10,000 off of this one. It's a, it's a 2020 Ram 1500. It's only got 30,000 miles. No sell, no sell, no sell. We'll see in the inventory at these, uh, at these auctions slowly start to creep up. And I don't think it's, uh, it's really a, uh, a factor of these new car dealers getting more trade-ins because they're not selling anymore. Demand's not going up but we're seeing inventory levels at these wholesale auctions go up a little bit. I think it's a factor of two things. Um, one, we're getting more inventory from the independent dealers and uh, more inventory from repos. And two, the amount of no sales are going way up. That means that uh, cars are going to stack on top of each other week after week. So if a dealership would normally bring, let's say 30 cars worth of trade-ins, but they only sell 50%, so they only sell 15 cars. Those 15 cars they didn't sell are gonna roll over into the next week. So now that dealer that would normally sell or bring uh, 30 cars every week, instead of having 30 cars, they now have 45 cars. And that's the kind of thing that I like to look at because that's the kind of inventory um, issues as far as franchise dealers are going that are going to cause the uh the used car prices to start getting pushed down so we got a lot of headwinds coming into the used car space and i really think that's going to help us get these prices down right now all right here's another no sell from last week this is a 2021 blazer i think trailblazer actually it's got uh 38 000 miles so there's no sold last week and they were i think they were like ten thousand dollars off on this one too so i believe this was the highlander that was also here last week so we're, we've been talking about a lot of these vehicles that were here last week and you saw them in last week's video and they no sold so it's an interesting thing to talk about because that highlander right there it's not going to bring more money than what it brought last week what's going to end up happening is it's going to bring actually less money and they're going to either no sell it again or put on phone call try to get something done but there's a saying in the auction world and it's called it's sorry truck going by it's first money, best money. And what that essentially means is that when you take the car to the auction, the first time you run it, that's the time it's going to bring the most money that it will bring when it comes to auction. And I'll tell you why. So when a vehicle runs through the auction, you've got multiple bidders on this particular car and it goes through and uh, it brings 
whatever amount it brings and they put it on a phone call and if bid um, then it no sells after that or if it just no sells on the block then you're going to actually have bidders drop off of bidding on that car because they're going to look at that car and say okay last week it brought five thousand dollars and they no sold it and i'm not even willing to pay that amount of money for that vehicle so there's no point in me even bidding on it this week so you're going to lose bidders that were bidding on it the week before this week because they know that they're not going to pay what the seller wants for it so when you have less bidders bidding on the same vehicle it's going to bring less money and that's what happens less money yeah less money fewer dollars i'm getting it right i'm working on it whoever's criticizing me and i'm talking about my wife too um, so when you have these cars that are running through multiple weeks, they're just going to continue to bring less money and then the sellers will eventually dump them. And that's what I've been talking to you so much about with these no sales stacking up and they are a leading indicator of prices, wholesale prices coming down because these dealers, these franchise dealers hold on to them, no sell, no sell, no sell. And then you know what? They just dump them for whatever they bring. And then you're going to see, all right, wholesale prices slowly come down. And then when all these franchise dealers decide that they're ready, okay, you know what? We got too much money in these vehicles. We just need to get rid of them. Then you're going to see that, that sharp little dip in the wholesale pricing because these franchise dealers are just going to be like, you know what? Enough is enough. Let's get rid of them. Let's move on to the next one. So this car has actually been here for your free, uh, I'm sorry, for a few weeks. Words are hard. Um, the reason I know that is because a lot of you keep uh, uh, pointing it out and wanting to know what it brings. Um, I'm actually not even going to check it out this week because if it's been here three or four weeks, then uh, the seller just wants a ridiculous amount and uh, buyers are not willing to pay it. So I'm not going to be able to give you a good price on it anyway. But uh, just to show you, it's a 2013 uh, Chevy Volt, 72,000 miles and car revving up beside me, but uh, nobody wants it, so we're not even going to check the price on it. Uh-oh. No sell, no sell, no sell, no sell. So um, I checked nine cars for you guys. Of the nine cars that, that I checked, um, only four of them actually sold in lane. The rest of them did not sell. And the cars that I checked in on that I looked at last week that no sold, all of those also no sold <laughs> today through the lanes. So I don't know what these dealers are waiting on, what they're expecting to happen, but um, as these cars continue to sit here at this uh, at this auction, they're not going to bring any more money than what they've already brought. So at some point, they're just going to have to dump them, and I, I really don't know what they're waiting on. They have to know that first money's best money. They've been these companies have been dealing with auctions for forever, and I think just the last three years have really just changed the dynamic of what these wholesale managers, what these franchise dealers really think is happening and we're not going to get any kind of bump. Again, there's no more free money coming through the system. There's not gonna be any bump in wholesale prices anytime soon. So what they get today is what the cars are gonna bring. So I don't know what they're waiting for. Eventually they're gonna to have to dump them and that's what we're waiting on. And this is the kind of thing we want to see for prices to come down. And uh, while, while it's interesting here at this auction is this is one of the better auctions that I go to. Um, they actually have a better sell-through rate than most other auctions and for them to be throwing through this many no sales through the auction that's that's trouble for a lot of these franchise dealers that means that they uh, they paid way too much for these trade-ins and uh, they're going to have to dump them soon so um, that's what we're looking forward to uh, in the uh, in the auction world for these franchise dealers to let loose of some of these cars wholesale prices come down and then that means retail prices can come down for you that also means that we need to be patient, we need to wait, and uh, don't buy anything right now, don't buy from dealers. You can maybe find a good deal from an individual, an individual that you know, hopefully. Um, always get anything checked out by your mechanic before you buy it, but as far as you looking for a car to buy from a dealer, don't do it yet. I would wait, prices are going to come down. 
I know you've been hearing this for months, especially from me, that prices are going to come down. It's not going to happen quickly. There's no crash. No crash is coming. It's going to take a long time. So you, if you can be patient, if you can wait, the longer you wait, the better deal you're going to get. Let's just wait them out. Don't buy a car right now. Wait. All right, we're going to try to see if it works. Uh, so <laughs> the benefit of the uh, used car market going to poopy is that we got some money and we can actually buy right now. So how many have you bought this week, sir? Uh, almost 20. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, that's a good week. I don't know. It's probably been four or five months since we bought like 20 in a week. Yeah, so yeah, a so Alex has been doing a good job and uh, we're gonna he keep, uh, keep it up. We're still selling cars. I mean, we sell cheap cars. So uh, we're not fully loaded at our lot yet and we're working towards that. So. Hopefully we'll get that way pretty soon and uh, and then uh, we'll sell some more cars. Hopefully we sell a bunch of cars. So it is very, very windy right now. I've got the new mic on. Wonder how it sounds. I hope it sounds good and I hope every bit of this audio from this video today is not unusable. So just a little behind the scenes content right here. Um, got this mic, brand new, just got it uh, yesterday. I tested it out last night. Um, but had to order a new mic because I had one that was similar to this one, much cheaper. I spent some money on this one. Um, and filmed a video a few days ago with the old mic that I had and got it back to the house. And I just had to scrap the whole video because none of the audio worked at all. So hopefully that's not happening today. Uh, let me know how this mic sounds. Um, I hope it's going to be okay. And uh, I don't want to have to record a whole video and then throw it away again. That's the most frustrating thing that I've experienced through this whole YouTube, whatever. It's just, that's very frustrating. I'm frustrated now just talking about it. And still waiting on my truck to get finished. So I am still driving the Subaru and there it is in all its orange glory. Um, but that also means we need to be paid. That's going to be the time that the car brings the best money. It's going to bring the most amount, most money, 